two of a five-day strike at three Providence healthcare facilities. Yesterday, a thousand people attended a rally at Providence, Portland, after negotiations between the hospital and the nurses' union did not result in a contract agreement. Today, nurses at Providence Seaside are showing up to express their frustration. Fox 12's Paulina Aguilar joins us now live from Seaside. Paulina. Hey there, we've seen nurses come and go all day since nine, since 5.45 this morning. Standing here on this corner in front of Providence Seaside, and at one point we saw almost 100 nurses at one time. And they have one message, they just want to get paid the same as all the other nurses in the state. After 18 bargaining sessions, the fight continues for nurses at Providence Healthcare Facilities. One thing they're asking for, better benefits. We are now having to use our sick time and vacation time in one main PTO. So because it's both, we're asking for a higher rate accrual. They're also asking for a pay increase. Nurses at Providence Seaside say they get paid 30% less than other health care facilities in the state, including Providence Portland. They believe that, you know, cost of living is less out here, but it's not the case, which is why we're fighting for parity to Portland. Mary Romanaji has been an ER nurse at Providence Seaside for 39 years and has been involved in negotiations in the past. We come prepared with proposals and ready to negotiate. There just wasn't any negotiating. They just it was stalling and trying, really trying to wear us down. And it didn't wear us down. It made us mad. 475 replacement workers have been activated while nurses are on strike, but patients are seeing the effects. I was in so much pain at that time, I couldn't even say anything. I couldn't talk. Renee has been a patient at Providence Portland for a week, being treated for radiation side effects after being diagnosed with colorectal cancer. I, I, assume, I assume they're busy, but it just, there are a lot of things that got neglected. He says when he entered the hospital before the strike, his care was outstanding. When the strike began, he moved from the cancer unit to another part of the hospital and says that's when his care changed. Alarms would go off on my machines and I would ask for water and it took an hour and a half before somebody responded. We're fighting for them. We are so fighting for them. nurses are the ones that have the license. We are licensed to protect the patients. So what we are fighting for for safe staffing is to protect them. And if if the situation is not safe or adequate, the nurses are the ones that speak up. This morning, Providence announced that some of their services have returned, including the NICU over at the Providence Portland location and labor and delivery services here at Seaside. Reporting in Seaside, Pauline Aguilar, Fox 12, Oregon.